Our mission is to support the jets. Without embarkation, you cannot have any cargo out here. So our job is to make sure all the cargo gets here and make sure that everybody's cargo is set in place so each squadron can do their mission. Once the gear arrives safely and everything is in fine working condition, the operation can finally begin. Without moving the packs and without moving the cargo, you can't function. You need your cargo to function. Simply put, no cargo, no mission. And for these guys, that means while everyone is resting for tomorrow, they're moving pallets on the flight line. We work many hours, long hours. We wait for the plane to arrive. We work with the Air Force together. And we make sure the cargo is set in place at the cargo to run in function. For one Embark Marine, working 14-hour days is not the only thing on his mind. With this operation, with all the work hours, it's actually not bothering me too much. Getting a lot of work done, that's mission accomplishment, it's the main priority. Even with the difficult hours, Kern wouldn't have it any other way. I love my job. It's, like I said, long hours, and it's really stressful, especially for the junior Marines like Lance Corporal's PFCs, but it's really rewarding uh, to know that you yourself got all the people and gear here, and the responsibility is all with you, so when everything goes off without a hitch, it's a great feeling, great sense of accomplishment. Coming together and working as one helps in the event of a real-world operation. We'll be ready for mission accomplishment. Corporal Anthony Reyes, Anderson Air Force Base, Guam.